I want to say to young people especially, my brothers and sisters here of all colors at this grand university, that I hope and pray that you have moments when you leave the classroom when you recognize your worldview rest on pudding. That's called education. The assumptions you've been holding on to for so long radically call into question. The worldview that you came in with, a little bit too parochial, too provincial, radically call into question. How do you broaden your horizons? How do you interrogate yourself in such a way that you're willing to be pushed against the wall? Shakespeare's Hamlet will do it to you. All those corpses at the end, can you take it? Take the text and throw it against the wall. It's too much. That's called pie there. That's called education. Tony Morrison's beloved will do it. Darwin's origins will do it. Nietzsche's genealogy of morals will do it. Kafka's metamorphosis will do it. Listen to some John Coltrane's Love Supreme will do it. Listen to Jay-Z on a high moment will do it. Paideia, singing paideia, textual paideia, various ways in which trying to get you to engage in what Simone, they call a formation of attention. That's the first moment of paideia. How do you convince people to move from the superficial to the substantial, to move from the frivolous to the serious, to move from bling to wrestling with truth and justice and sorrow and sadness and joy. That's that turning of the soul. And the relation of that formation of attention to the cultivation of a self that respects reality. The unexamined life is not worth living. And Charles Darwin and Biggie would agree when they say the examined life is painful. 